Hey guys, today we're going to be working with uh, iSCSI. What is it? It's basically taking your NAS, chopping off a block of it, or even the whole thing if you wanted, and attaching it in the eyes of an OS as a physical hard drive. Uh, you're going to be limited by your network speed, so if you don't have gigabit, it might be rough. But uh, what we're going to be doing today is I'm going to attach it to our ESXi setup and we can throw some virtual machines directly on there and say if you're running something like Plex and you're comfortable with your network speed, you can just drop all the files on the VM. You don't have to do nothing crazy and create shares like I did in the other video. You can create shares to other uh, platforms, but as far as just the base system, it's directly attached. It, it pretty much thinks that's inside the case. So let's go ahead and get started. Uh, open up your Synology interface. Go on over to iSCSI Manager. Set up a LUN. I just call it VMHDD. And it's, it's just like when we created the virtual machine. This is all up to you. Um, I'll go with 250 for now. I don't, I don't need a ton of space for this. We're gonna go with thick provisioning. You know, advanced features looks good. We're gonna create a new target. Nah, just leave it as target one. It doesn't really matter. It, it's up to you. It's how your naming uh, scheme is on your network. I don't really care that much. So we're target one. And this part of the video is done. Let's go ahead and move back into ESXi. All right, once we got the uh, hypervisor pulled up, go over to storage, go to your adapters, find your VMHBA64. If it's not enabled, enable it. Uh, if you don't have a port binding in here, do that. It's just gonna be your host IP. And here's where the magic happens. Go to add dynamic target. Type in the IP of your Synology NAS and save your configuration. Now watch what happens when we open that back up. There is our LUN right there. Um, you see too because uh, I did map both of my ports, uh, my Ethernet ports on the NAS. I don't use them both yet but I have them both there so. That's why you see two IP addresses. Otherwise, you'll just see this. But now that we got that set up, let me show you how to do a data store. Very simple. Just go over to data stores, new data store, create new. Oh, and look what we got there. It's beautiful, right? And you can do whatever you want here. Um, like I said, this is all up to you. We're all about flexibility here. I'm just showing you how to get your foot in the door so that you can expand your options. Hopefully this was helpful. If it was, please like, subscribe, and as always, comment. Let me know what you guys need, what you guys want, and I'll see you next time.